Hey there folks, Nick here, welcome back to Ashes Cricket. We've been made an offer to be the captain of our English T20 team, which I thought I already had been made the captain of. Apparently not, a few episodes ago, you may have seen it. Maybe you didn't, I don't know, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I remember that happening. It's now finally happened for what seems to possibly be the last match of the season. Uh, Northamptonshire against Warwickshire. Uh, fourth versus sixth. We must win this to stay in the top four. Uh, I believe we'll have to select our lineup. Cool. Oh, I've just cancelled all of that. No, I haven't. Ish is still in there. James Pattinson's still in number 12. Cool. All good. Let's accept that and advance on to the match. Which is what you all came here for. In his first match as captain, Nottinghamshire opening batsman Nicholas Zachary enters the playing arena against the match against Warwickshire. Let's head to the middle. Have a look at the pitch conditions. It's a dry hard pitch, partly cloudy, a nice warm temperature for the day, some fairly high humidity and very little chance of rain. We go down to the middle for the toss. As captain of the home seat side, I get to throw that coin into the air. They won the toss and they've chosen to bat. So let's send our bowling side into the attack. Let's see what we can do with Warwickshire. Ed Pollock will face the first ball. He's a left-hand batsman, 3,000 odd runs to his name, an average of 43 and a half runs per match. He's not doing too badly for himself with 600s and 1850s. High score of 131, not bad at all. Stuart Broad, the opening bowler with 132 wickets to his name in this form of the match. Let's see the first ball. And it'll just be a dot ball. A bowl by Stuart Broad. Let's move on. And into the attack with 1,031 runs, an average of 34.3. Is your captain? Me. Kick things off with a duck. Not the kind of duck I don't want to get. That's his high ball. They'll all be uh, a bit better placed there. He's going to play a cut over the top potentially. Oh yeah. Big one over the top. Kicked the innings off with a six. I actually don't know what I'm chasing down as a total here. Uh, chasing down a 204 runs. Sixes like that are going to be necessary it seems. Target set like that. Yep. Another one round the corner. Should pick up two here. Oh, actually. Oh, actually. That one's gone all the way to the boundary for four. I have got a fly annoying the absolute crap out of me right here. All right, here we go. 195, 170 required. 10 runs for the first three. Backing that up with a single bounce for. Should I give Alex Hales a run? Well, they've changed the field around here. Opened up the right hand side a little bit, but put the guy down there at long on. Played that one through the covers, along the ground for four more runs, 18 runs from the over. Brings the total for Nottinghamshire to zero for 18. Alex Hales to kick off his innings, survives the first two balls. Medium bowler, Brooks. Oh, played past the fielder. A fine leg for four runs. And I've completed an objective even better. Yep. The objectives are kind of like whose line is it anyway? 
once you get to level 50, points don't matter. Feeling good about this. Left arm medium bowler into the attack. Guessing I have something out the stumps or wide of the stumps. No. Nope. At the stumps it is. Not hit too well. But that might make it all the way to the boundary. It has. Well, we are above the required run weight, which is lovely to see. But it is only the third over of the match, so there is a long time to go. Gee, that was lucky. Swung a bit early. The medium pacer beating me there a little bit with a slow ball. Yep. A little bit more pace in that one. Timed slightly better. But it'll just be two more to the total. Just so we have something a bit more centered, yep. Looks like there'll just be a single there. Probably could have come back for a, sec a second one, but it was not on the cards. Wait, yep. oh, get a quick single here. With that poorly hit early swing at the ball. Nine runs from that over. Three overs gone, 33 runs is the total. Still 172 to go. To pick up the V. Played wide of legs. Dispatched for four runs. Beautifully played through mid wicket. Hannon Delby. No. Oh, you've got to be joking. No way. That had to be wide. Of, that had to be running down the side of leg. I'm, I will be putting a challenge in on that. That looked to be wide. He's good with the foot placement. Where is this ball going? Oh, it's in line. It's turned back in at the last second. Which is why I've struggled to hit it. it. I was thinking that was heading for my left foot. But it was not. He's got me LBW plum right in front. Look at the swing on it. Look at the cut on that. It's a great ball. Right between middle and leg. The decision stands. And I make the walk. On 35 runs from 15 balls. Billy Root is the next man in. Hoping to regain some composure for the team. We have chased it down it seems. No. They've kept us away. Eight run victory to Warwickshire. In my first match as captain. Has gone for the L. There you go, guys. That's been this uh, today's episode. Hope you enjoyed that one. Ooh, bit of a tricky one. Bit of a tricky one. Cybrand brings a man of a match. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please don't forget to hit the like button. And hit the subscribe button. You get a new video here every single day. And we're pushing hard to try and get to the Australian squad before Cricket 2019 comes out in roughly a month by the reports I've been hearing. Stay tuned, hit subscribe, hit like, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Chaz Club.